What's up beautiful people, this is Mike from My Gets as well and hope you all are having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what you should not be doing on your LG OLED TVs when it comes to the picture settings and uh, I'm going to be showing you why you should not actually be forcing the BD2020 right off the bat because you know you think that one specific scene from the movie or a selected content doesn't look good on your TV. So what I'm doing here is I'm resetting all the picture modes that we have. So we have different presets. We have Vivid, Standard, APS, which is for the power saving. We have the Cinema. We have uh, Sports and Bright Picture Mode and the Dark Picture Mode. So I'm going to be doing all of that reset. So we have the out-of-the-box picture settings, unaltered, unedited. So the way you can tell if the picture mode is the um, user edited or not, you can see on the top left corner that there is picture modes and there is no parenthesis saying user. So that's how you will tell that this picture mode is right out of the box. It's not edited. So we're going to go in the settings and I'm going to go and make some changes to the standard and from brightness, we're gonna increase it to 100. So now I have made some changes to a picture mode where it was showing before standard, now it shows standard user. So if I go back to my picture settings, it will say standard user. So I'm gonna go and reset this because I'm trying to just go back to the factory settings and telling you guys it's not that bad when somebody show you, because somebody can show you selective content and show you, oh, it doesn't look good at all. And then you go and force the BT 2020. I mean, you should not be, uh, basing your settings on, on, on that basis that you have the demo content and that demo content which is actually already really dull. So if you go to the YouTube, just search for the Hisense 4K demo and stay in any picture mode and you will see that besides Vivid, that specific content is not gonna look good at all. So I'm in that and look, our Steve is there. Uh, we have the Caliph from the Digital Trends and all of a sudden we have this girl right here which somebody told us that she is dead and he's gonna put like, you know, bring her back to life. It is not like that actually. If you're going to make changes on this, which is already dull enough, you know, everything else looks good, colorful, their colors displaying properly. And um, if you go and try to make changes on this specific video right now here, because which is already uploaded in a way that it looks dull, especially specifically when you are in the dull picture modes like the dark mode. And if you're in the filmmaker mode and the cinema mode, because these are the three picture modes. And I bet go to the video and you will find like, you know, on the BT 2020 forcing video, you will have this image in three different picture modes in the uh, dull picture modes, in the uh, cinema, in the... Um, the dark picture room setting that we have and we have filmmaker but you see like how this content itself is actually really dull so I'm, I'm in the standard it doesn't even bring that to life only vivid so I'm going to show you how this works and we're going to go in the video you can see vivid it just brings her back to life right but everything else around it is going to be super punchy in the red color and you really don't want to look at that. So it is the issue with the content rather with the TV picture mode. So what I'm going to be doing right now is um, I'm going to go in the video and play it in the different picture presets and show you that literally you look at the lion, cheetah, um, you got other colors, you have the snake there, Costa Rica, everything looks so beautiful, but this particular one doesn't look good. So this is how, I mean, you can draw attention, you can get the, uh, you know, viewers to believe, make them believe, oh, it doesn't look good. See, I'm going to uh, bring her back to life. So I'm going to pause this here and you see this right here. It doesn't look good at all, right? I mean, is this just the content? So we're going to go in the menu the different pictures uh, thumbnails that we have you see everything else look properly colorful the way it should be so we have lg oled g1 a couple of other thumbnails we got the vincent from hdtv test all of the colors even that um scene from the greatest showman the thumbnail that vincent has it looks fine we have the high sense uled demo video which looks fine but what's wrong with this particular one yeah there is wrong with this particular one. And sometimes there are movie scenes also, not just the demo content. It's set in a way to give you a different feel when you're watching the movie. Let's say Jurassic World, it's shot in a way that gives you not like punchy colors. I mean, that's how they set the tone for the movie. Then you have the Mad Max, it's set in a different mode. Like you will see the desert. I mean, if you go and put the BT2020 on a Mad Max movie, I'm talking about the Mad Max Fury Road, you're gonna have orange sand. Okay, now I go to the vivid mode and you can see 
this particular content is now back to life. So it is just like you go to the Vivid and it's fine. You don't even have to force BT2020 because when you do BT2020, it actually pushes the colors. And also like uh, what, what it does, it, it makes it really saturated. So think about the content which is already having enough colors because this particular content doesn't even have color. It is just being added through the uh, Vivid. And also when you go, because Vivid has a wider spectrum for the color, when you talk about, you know, how you have the native and auto. So when you are in the Vivid, it is actually pushing the native. So you're gonna have more color push. And that's the same thing BT2020 does. It actually pushes more color and your picture is gonna look overly red and you should be staying away from it. And then you go to Vivid Standard and you will see this is just the issue with the picture. And now I'm looking at everything else looks super saturated. And also there's one thing about the BT2020 that you cannot force it on the TV applications or when you're watching the TV. Uh, you can only force it when you have the HDMI connected. So it's kind of useless. It's for those people who want to test the content. You know, like there's a specific reason why they have that option available. You just don't force it and then make everything else look super saturated. Now I'm looking at this red, green, blue, other thumbnails just look overly saturated when I'm trying to just make this picture correct. So the thing is, you should actually be following something like this, which is actually a reference standard. So you have this kind of picture, which is from the Portrait Displays Inc. If you're really trying to make some changes to your settings, go with this kind of reference material and then make changes because here they're trying to get you closer to, you know, how the movies are referenced. And you, when you change it to Vivid, see how it looks like overly, uh, orange and also the background turns into blue it was actually gray so there are things that you can base using this kind of material rather going to the demo which is already very dull and lifeless and you're trying to just bring her back to life and you will feel like everything else will look like super red and you will lose the details and the textures in the shirt uh, look at that shirt right there in the back in filmmaker it looks fine you can see the textures but in the Vivid, you can't really tell what color shirt. I mean, he's wearing blue, but the textures of the shirt, you can't see those creases because it's totally overly saturated. So these, this is really basic, guys. Um, don't just start blowing up the BT2020 on your TVs and looking at that um, colors that you should. I mean, eyes can get adjusted. If you like that kind of colors, maybe you can do it. Just stay in the Vivid. You don't even have to force. And also, you cannot force it in the TV application. So it's just a useless function. It's only for those people who are trying to um, you know, like do some testing and they want to see how the TV is going to receive the signal. So it's for the developers and all. I know that's why it's hidden with the secret code. And when you go to the Hisense 4K demo, you can scroll around and you can see yourself that how dull that specific content looks like. So God bless to you if you are using this kind of, uh, you know, the demo content and applying the settings using that. Um, it's already really dull. It doesn't have any life to it. It is made for the demo. So when you go to the Vivid, it just looks amazing. And that's how it is when you go to the stores. It looks amazing because they put it in the Vivid mode. So that's all I have from this video, guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it. And I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, peace out.